Do facts make good stories? Facts are tricky. Um, so I think the hardest stories to break are ones that are based on real life events. Um, and uh, I have a philosophy a little bit with my students and clients that I tell them when it comes to research, I say Wikipedia it and be done. Um, the more you know sometimes is, is a problem actually. Now that's going to work with some stories better than others. Um, you know, you, you can have a lot more freedom if you're going to write, if you're writing about William Wallace, where there are very few written records uh, at that time, and you could have an enormous amount of freedom and in, in, in with something like Braveheart, uh, because we knew very little about the man, um, versus if you're going to do um, a, a story about, a, you know, about Elton John, um, you know, someone who's actually, you know, uh, in the, uh, who's living and whose facts a lot, a lot of us know. You're going you're gonna to have to, you can't have as much leeway necessarily. Um, so uh, it, it is harder to make true life stories work as stories. Because again, remember, life is a situation. Life itself is not a story. Um, so you're going to have to find ways to structure things in, for maximum impact in, in order to tell a story. Um, I had an experience once where I was at a party and a, uh, a student uh, introduced me to a prominent documentary filmmaker who I, who I won't name. Okay. And, uh, and, when, and she introduced me as, you know, as her screenwriting teacher and the author of this book that's about screenwriting uh, story structure. And his attitude was a little bit like, yeah, structure smucture. <laughs> and I said to him, you know, well, let me understand you. You know, when you make your documentary films, are they just two hour interviews with no cuts at all? Do you employ editing? Do you have cuts? And he was like, yeah, of course. I was like, okay, well, if you employ editing, if you have cuts, you're using structure. Right. That's all structure is. Structure is about choosing what events you show in the order that you show them in and what events you don't show. That's all it is. So um, we can manipulate real life events to an extent, in, and that's what we're gonna have to do, unless you wanna just show a two hour interview of, with absolutely no cuts. Um, if, you know, if, you are, if your documentary film is telling a story, you're gonna have to have cuts. Um, and you're, it, you're gonna have to choose which moments you show and which moments you cut away from and, um, and which moments you don't show. Um, some true life events are more easily can be made into stories than others. Some it's gonna be very difficult. So I can't promise when people you know, come in and they're, they're doing something on a biographical figure um, that it's necessarily gonna work. And sometimes you know, I, I can, um, sympathize with them the trouble, but if we can't find certain patterns in some 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 people's lives, it's it, it dramatically may not make for a good story, um, unfortunately. But the less we know about them, the better, because then we can make up more, or we can be more. Um, you know, the the less that there are uh, living figures involved, and we can speculate about, for example, what the protagonist's flaw was, and you know, um, it doesn't mean that we're radically changing from the truth, but if it's not a figure we know so much about, we can be a little more flexible about choosing the elements that most enhance the real life events in order to, to show a pattern that could show a story. When you explained some of that to the filmmaker, what was their response? <laughs> uh, I get a little of, of this. Um, uh, but I wonder if maybe it stayed with him. We'll we'll see. 